in our previous session we have created this new user registration form now we are going to work on login form okay we have created all these input fields now when i click on this login button i am redirected to user login dot php now we are going to style this one before that i'll come to cart page checkout now inside this checkout dot php itself i am having this user login form i'll click on register now inside this registration form we are having this button whenever i click on this login okay this will open in this particular section when i click on login this is going to open this part and this form will be displayed directly if i click on checkout button this login form will be displayed inside checkout dot php but when i click on registration login then i will be redirected to this particular section now we are going to style this one now whenever i click on this let me just come back now when i click on this login i will be redirected to user login dot php now in this file we are going to style this form okay this entire form whatever we are having here this we are going to style i'll come here now inside user login dot php we have written this basic code i have just displayed this heading that is user login now i am just going to remove this one now inside user login dot php we have just written this basic code inside user registration dot php we are just going to copy the entire thing and inside this we are just going to paste that one i'll just do control a and i'm just going to delete the entire code i'll just delete from here i'll come to user registration dot php control a i'm just going to copy this entire thing and inside this i'm just going to paste that one okay whatever we have done in previous session i have just copied the entire thing i am just pasting inside this page now i'll come here now if i refresh this whatever output i am having for registration form that entire thing will be displayed for me inside user login dot php now from here i am going to remove all the fields i am just going to keep here username and password i'll come here i don't need this confirm password because whenever we are logging in or signing in we don't need to give confirm password we have to give the password and whatever username and password is stored inside the database that is going to match with this and we will be redirected to website i don't need this address as well and also contact field i need this button okay let me just remove this three things and i don't need image as well i'm just going to remove okay which is not necessary i'm just going to remove email also i'll be removing only password and username i'll save this now i'll come here now if i refresh this one you can see i'm having only username and password then okay if you want to give any spacing you can give now for this diff section i'll be adding some margin margin top of 5 i'll save now if i refresh this one i'm having some spacing from above now instead of this register i just want here login okay login or sign in whatever you want you can give as of now i'm just going to give here login and here i'll be giving user login okay rest everything remains same i'm not going to change any value inside any attributes whatever we have done inside user registration i have just copied the same thing i have pasted here i have removed the fields whichever i think that is not important for me i have removed that one whichever you want to keep in login section you can keep now instead of this i'm just going to write this one don't have an account then register i'll copy this and instead of this i'm just going to paste i'll remove this register and in place of this login i'm just going to paste that one now i'll come to project now if i refresh this one you can see don't have an account then register now whenever i click on register i should be redirected to user registration dot php i'll remove this here i'll be giving user registration dot php i'll save i'll refresh this one now everything is fine now whenever i click on registration you can see i'm redirected to user registration dot php now when i click on login i am redirected to user login dot php okay now we are done with this now i'll come to checkout page i'll come to cart now when i click on checkout page you can see entire form is been displayed here okay we have not done anything we have just included this file inside checkout.php okay this we have seen in our previous session when we learned about session how to use session then we have learned about how to use session and how to include this particular files if you are not understanding how we got this form here then you have to refer to previous videos for better understanding okay this is how we are going to create whenever user is not set we are going to redirect it to checkout.php and inside that we are having this user okay i have to change the heading let me just change the heading 
I will come back. Now inside this we are having user login. I will come. Now in place of this I will remove user login. And also title I am just going to change user login. I will save this. I will refresh this one. Now inside this checkout.php I have not given any title. So that title is not been displayed. Let me just come here. I will come to home. Now when I click on cart, when I click on checkout, you can see here I am having checkout page, but here this login form is displayed. Inside user login, I am having all these things. When I click on register, I am redirected to registration page. Okay, this is how we are going to work. Now what we are going to do, inside home page, we are having this login button. Whenever I click on this, I should be redirected to user login.php. I will come to index.php. I will come to index.php. I will just search for login. Okay, here I am having login. Now in place of this, first I will just come inside user area, users area folder. Inside that I am having user login.php. User login.php. I will save this. Now without refreshing, if I just click on login, you can see I will be getting only hash here. I am not redirected to any file. Now if I refresh this one, now when I click on this login, I am redirected to this particular file path. Okay, this is how we are going to work. Now I will come to cart page, I will click on checkout button. Now if I just click on register, you can see it is not working because here I am having e-commerce website and inside root I am having user registration.php. Inside checkout page, this file is not getting opened because we are having wrong path here. But if I just click here separately, I will come to login page. Now when I click on this, it is working completely fine. Why it is not working? Because I have created this checkout.php in the root itself. Now I will just move this inside user area folder. I will move this. Now I will come here. I will just come back. I will come to home page. See now here I am having this error. I will remove this. Now I will come to cart. I will click on checkout. Okay, now you can see when I click on checkout I am having this part. Now I have moved this checkout page inside user area. Now here I also I have to change. So first I will just come to cart.php. You can adjust the changes by yourself. Now let me just search for checkout. Okay, here I am having this checkout button. Now what I am going to do, I am just going to change the path. First I am just going to come inside user area. It's users area. Users area inside that I am having checkout.php. Inside checkout I have just changed this path. Now I will just come to checkout.php. Inside checkout.php we have created all this code. If this session variable is set then we will be redirected to payment. Okay, This particular section will be included inside checkout.php or else we will be having login form. The user has to log in. Now inside we have just included this one. You can see I have just included this connect.php. Now this path will also change. Now inside user area we are having this one. Now I have to come outside of this. So let me just give a double dot slash. I will save this. I will refresh this one. I will click on checkout. Now I am redirected to checkout.php. But you can see we have to change the paths from here. Now I am inside the same folder. I am just going to remove this. I will just include this one. Okay, user login.php. I will refresh this. Now everything is working fine. Still only one. Okay, includes folder. I just have to write here double dot. I will save this. I will refresh this one. Now everything is fine. I am having all the output. You can see inside checkout.php itself I am having. Okay, you can adjust by yourself. I have just moved this checkout.php inside users area. So I have to change this one. If you directly want to include checkout.php inside user area, then also you can do. If you want to include outside, then also you can do. Based on your requirement, you can do. I know it was little confusing, but I am just going to explain you whatever I have done. Inside user login.php. I have just copied the entire thing from user registration.php and I have pasted here. Then I have removed all the fields. I have just changed the title. I have kept only username and this password. I have just changed this title. Okay, rest everything remains same. Then finally below this we are having this button. Instead of that user registration, I have given here user login. And here instead of already have an account, I just gave here don't have an account, then register here. Whenever I click on register button, now I am inside user login.php. This user login.php and user registration.php resides in same folder. Okay, that is same level. 
so we don't have to give dot slash if you give dot slash it will work but if you directly write the file name then also it is going to work now what i have done after this i have just moved this checkout dot php inside this users area dot php then i came to cart page cart dot php wherever i was having this checkout button i have just given this path because this cart page is present inside root so i have to give the path of this users area inside users area i'm having this checkout dot php so i'm just passing this path now i have come to checkout dot php and from here first i have just included this double dot slash why because first i have to come outside of this users area then i have to come inside of this includes folder inside that i'm having this connect dot php that is the reason i am passing this double dot slash in the same way footer is present inside includes folder so for footer also i am just passing here double dot slash you can see double dot slash then finally wherever i am having this one okay before that i have just given here users area now this checkout page resides in the same folder okay now this checkout and login is in same level so i don't have to give any dot slash dot double slash directly i can just pass the file name okay this is how it is going to work inside index.php wherever i was having login i have just redirected to login path in the same way let me just search for login now here i have just redirected to this path i'm just going to copy this entire li inside product details.php i'm just going to paste that one i'll just paste this okay in every page it should work inside search product also i'll be pasting that one and finally inside display all also i'm just going to paste okay wherever we are having login i'm just going to pass the path i'll come to product details i'll save this and also here i'm going to save this now i'll just come back now when i click on login i am redirected to this path i'll search for some products now i am inside search products now when i click on login i will be redirected to user login.php okay this is how we are going to work in every file it should work but okay this is this is going to open in new file but when we click on checkout button it is going to include in the same file itself come to home i'll click on cart now when i click on this checkout you can see inside this page itself we will be having this form okay now we are done with this login and registration form now finally we'll start with registering a user inside the database 